What's up everybody, welcome back to Taco Twans. Today, I am finally gonna show you guys what we have been working on with the Tacoma, um, as far as our suspension and wheels and tires. We are parked on a, uh, a slight hill and I have some the old tires in the back and wheels so it is leaning a little bit in the back um, but I'll do another video where the wheels and tires are out and you'll see this thing is completely leveled um, but let's do a little walk around here And if you guys are in uh, Colorado, make sure you guys hit up True Automotive. Um, Austin is the mechanic that did all the work on this. I've been going to him for about a year now um, for all my my vehicles. So if you guys um, do live here, make sure you guys hit him up for all your lift needs. Um, he does everything from lifts to uh, full engine rebuilds and stuff like that. So. Here's the view from the front. So it's it's poking out just a little bit, just the way I like it. Um, I wanted it to be at least flush, so that negative 38 offset on these wheels definitely do that. And before you guys say anything, yes, I am getting sliders. They are actually in the works right now. Um, getting them made up so I'll, I'll make sure I'll make a video for that. All right, let's start with the wheels and tires. So tires, we went with BFG KO2s, uh, 285, 75, 17 which converts to about a 34 inch tire. And then as far as the wheels, we went with Stealth Custom Series F5, 17 by nine, negative 38 offset. And for the front suspension, we have the King 2.5 coilover um, extended travel, the Total Chaos upper control arm, and then we also have the Total Chaos Spindle Gusset, which beefens up the uh, spindle right there. And we also got the Total Chaos um, Cam Gussets to prevent the alignment from moving as much as it would if we were to take it off um, off-roading. And then of course we got the RCI lower control arm skid plate on there. We do have to trim it right there just to work with the OEM TRD skid plate. Then in the rear, we got the Archive Garage shock relocation towers. On the uh, passenger side, we chopped off the old mounting bracket for the shock, which was down here. And then now it's its way up there, giving me, I think, an extra four inches of travel. Um, and this is of course the King 2.5 smoothie shock. Um, 
and then the springs we got the Deaver light duty springs um, just because I don't plan on doing any overlanding or anything like that but that might change um, and then down here we got the uh, archive garage uh, U-bolt flip kit and let's see if you see it up here and that comes with the the new bump stop I think they call it a super bump and then of course we got the archive garage um, hammer hangers these uh, makes the ride pretty smooth um, in the rear if you guys haven't seen before I got the uh, RCI rear diff skid on driver's side the shock OEM tower was mounted here as you can see this we cut it off right there and this is where the reservoir sits now all right guys that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys have any questions make sure you guys leave it in the description below and uh, i will try to answer them as fast as i can but that's it for today's video i'll see you guys next time peace